You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey you guys and gals, never here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's Sunny Mountain Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of After Class, Coach Gill's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. Oh god, he talks in a very polite way. I I'm scared of him. I hate to admit it, but I'm not familiar with the area. Oh, you and I both. <laughs> but no worries, I'm sure we'll find it real soon. Of course, we can work together to find our way. So, what is it? I was wondering how you know Coach Gill. I'm afraid I can't tell you the exact picture, but I can, however, tell you the gist of it. That's fine by me. Let's say that we met in Highwell at some afternoon tea and dinners when we were little. Oh, wow, an old friend, that's so cool! Not exactly. We lost contact not too long after and only reconnected a few years before I moved here to advance my career in education. I see, and it must be great to see him again. Definitely. Glad we were able to pick up where we left off. Wait, you said here in Highwell. Does that mean you lived here before? Yes, this is my hometown. I see. W welcome back to Highwell. Thank you. It's nice to be back. How about you? How do you know Gil? Oh, he's just my high school teacher. Hmm, that makes perfect sense. What does? Pay me no attention. I was just thinking to myself. Okay. You said you were. You said when you were little. Does that mean you're as old as Coach Gill? Not quite. I'm a few years younger than him. Four years to be exact. Ah, okay. It seems like we've reached our destination. This is the library, all right. Thank you for guiding me here, Henry. I'll go find some materials to read for my course now. Good luck. You too. Once you were no longer with Logan, you started looking for some familiar faces. The library was big, and it was full of people, mainly from Mr. Parker's class. Now that you took a look, night, you took a better look at the place. Now, if you were studying for his class, you knew that he would be in the library. He would be, he would be over there. Whoa, I think some students are asking him questions. Next to him was Mark, he was taking a nap, and undisturbed by the people asking Mr. Parker questions. They started to get somewhat loud, and the librarian shushed them. Of course he would be napping despite that. Once it calmed down, you approached them. Hey, Mr. Parker! Oh, Henry! You finished the practice already? Well, sort of. We were dismissed today. Oh, why is that? Uh, something happened in the gym. It's nothing important. Are you sure? Must be bad if it gets cancelled. Mm, I'm sure. If you say so, then. Of course it's important. Henry just don't want to tell us about it. Oh, since when are you awake? Since you're all, hey, Mr. Parker, in my ears. I didn't do that. Sure you didn't. What happened? What's happened? What happened during practice? I saw Talbot stomping off while the others were unaware of what was going on. Uh, just had a silly fight with Talbot is all. How did that happen? He just randomly said weird things and attacked me. Mark's eyes widened. He slammed his hand onto the table and everyone was looking at him. The librarian once again shushed and pointed at the at the this is a silent zone sign. Mark hissed at her and sat down. It's like, you know. Poor librarian lady didn't deserve that. Are you hurt? No, thankfully. Yeah, thankfully for him. If you were hurt, I'm so hunting down that fishy ass. You can't help but snicker at that. What's so funny? Nothing, nothing. That's Thanks, Mark. But I'm fine, honest. Glad that you're okay, Henry. That must have been scary. A little bit. He was about to hit me, but I managed to deflect it. Someone even said I was no amateur. That's a good thing, right? Of course it is. Anyway, it's getting late. I don't think we should be wasting more time. Let's help you study. Ah, alrighty. So, studying. Where do we start? Have you studied at all? Nope. Well, if that's the case, then we need to get you your textbook and review some of the stuff we've learned so far. Hey, Mr. Stone. Yes? I was thinking. I was just thinking. Would it be fair for us to study here with you? What do you mean? I'm not the type who cares about what the, other th what the others think about me, but I was concerned that other students would think you're playing favorites. Oh, you're right. But I think it's okay. The other students were asking for my help earlier. It's not uncommon for teachers to sit here anyway. Plus, there's no other viable available seats, no? Maybe. It's not like I'm giving up the questions for the test. Ha 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 ha! Mr. Parker's laugh was so loud it echoed around the library somehow. Shush! Sorry, sorry. Oh, I thought you were going to boost us like that. Not a chance. Well, Henry, I tried. Looks like we'll have to actually study. What? I'm here to actually study! Jeez, at least try to play along. Oh, I didn't know you wanted me to play along. 
A few hours later, you felt like you absorbed more than enough material for tomorrow. The study session went so long that Mark had to excuse himself. He said that someone was about to come over to his house, so he had to leave and prepare for the, f prepare for the guest. Now, it was only you and Mr. Parker remaining, along with a few students in the library. Mm, are we done? Yes, you seem to have a decent grasp of the subject. I think you'll do great tomorrow. Oh, really? Yay! So, can we leave now? For sure. I think it's about I think it's about to close, so we have to leave anyway. Alrighty. I think it's the first time I've been here until the evening. I've been here a few times at night. Oh, what for? Just passing by. Oh, you haven't left yet. Oh, Logan, I was just leaving. Oh, you're the one of the few first year students who skipped orientation. That's right, my name is Logan. It's nice meeting you, Mr. Ryder, Mr. Stone. Oh, same here. Wait a second. Logan, I think I've heard about you from Gilbert. He facepalmed himself in a cool way, and a few words escaped his mouth. Must he tell everyone about me? Am I not supposed to know who you are? No, that's not it. If anything, he didn't say more than he knew, Lo he knew a Logan. I presume he didn't mention my full name like he just did this afternoon with Henry. Hang on. Oh, I think he did, but I don't remember, honestly. I suppose you'll find out later, since I'll eventually be one of your students. I'm Logan McGrath. McGrath? You're THE McGrath? Correct. Wow, okay. Hmm, am I supposed to know who they are? I just think they are familiar, but I didn't know they were well known. First it was Graham, and now it's McGrath. What kind of world did I live in? What's next? They're gonna say the Le the Leonard? <laughs> in any case, I should head home. Please, have a safe walk, Henry, Mr. Stone. Ah, okay, but if we're on the same path, we can walk together. Once again, he observed you thoroughly before saying something. You noticed that Mr. Parker was getting anxious about him doing that. I'm good for it. Let's go home together. Okays. The more the merrier. Yay! So, Mr. Parker said you skipped orientation. What gives? I hadn't arrived at Highwell at the time. I take it you're also one of the few students who skipped orientation. Mm-hmm. I arrived last week. Something happens. Something happened before my departure, so I couldn't fly in time. I didn't see you until now, actually. So, does that mean you just got here? No, I've been here since last week. I just didn't make my presence known is all. I like to keep to myself. Our courses are entirely different as well, so there is no way we can see each other. I see. Hey, Mr. Parker, you've been really quiet. Everything okay? Oh, me? Oh, yeah, I'm doing okay. I just don't know what to talk about. Please, Mr. Parker, you may speak freely. I don't have anything in mind. Don't mind me. Oh, okay. So, here's my house. Quite lovely and sizable, too. Did you live here by yourself? Mm-hmm. It's equipped with a video intercom, too. It's like someone had security in mind. Intercom? Logan started explaining what the intercom could do. He also showed you how to operate it, at least the basic features like opening gates and all that. Was that clear? Mm-hmm. I think I can operate it now just fine. Thanks, Logan. My pleasure. I live near here myself, so if you need more help, just let me know. No way! It's that two-story building over there. He pointed at the house across the street, a few houses away from yours. The heck? You live really close, and I don't know anything about it. We're, we're actually neighbors. Good. Getting to know each other will be easier then. Thanks for walking with me, Henry, Mr. Stone. But no problem. Hmm? Sorry, just distracted. I'm gonna leave, too. Take care of both of you. Something clearly bothered him, but you couldn't ask him because he left in a hurry. Uh, I promise he's not usually like this. No worries, I just hope he'll be alright. In any case, I should leave now, and I'm sure you want to relax at home, too. I'll see you around, Henry. Okays. Finally home. Second y'all, water time. Hey, y'all, and we are back. Let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Alright. <clears throat> Finally home. Today was exhausting, so when you got home, you immediately dived your whole you dived your whole being onto the couch, letting yourself sink into the soft, fluffy cushion. It was relaxing at first, but the longer you let yourself sink into the cushion, the harder it was for you to breathe. You decided to turn around, now lying on your back. You let yourself stare at the ceilings and contemplate today's events. It didn't last long, because soon after, you heard something coming out, coming out from the intercom, a highly convenient little piece of electronic that you figured out today. Hey, Henry, you home? Lars told me to use the intercom, but I don't think you even noticed that it existed. Oh, it's Coach Gill with Lars, I think. What do you mean, Coach Gill? Of course I know about the intercom. Huh, well, what do you know? Use the intercom. 
That's surprising. And to be fair and honestly, I just found out today. Why today, specifically? Logan told me. Oh, of course he would. Well, open up the gate for us, why don't you? On it, boss. With a press of a button, the gate unlocked itself. Coach Gill and Lars walked in. Then they locked the gate. You could see you could see it via the live feedback. Now I gotta open the door. So, what brings you here? I uh, have a favor to ask you. Yes? The thing is, I'm kind of in a tight spot right now. I was gonna ask for Gill's help, but it doesn't seem possible. If it is possible, would you mind if I stayed here for a couple days? For a few days, I'll repay you someday, I promise. I don't mind at all. You're free to stay as long as you like, landlord permitting, that is. Oh, really? Thank you so much. You don't have to repay me. But I feel, but I feel bad for freeloading. Well, if you feel bad, you can pay him back with your body. <sighs> it was your bad, it was your bad for expecting something decent out of Coach Gill's mouth. You sighed and shook your head. If that's necessary. But Lars said had your jaw opened in disbelief. You wanted to you wanted to say nothing and let him pay with his body, but this wasn't his route. <laughs> this wasn't his route. Huh. Three some time? No, don't do that. If you really feel bad, why not cook us a good dinner? That works that works too. Speaking of, I'm starving right now. Hint hint. Ha! I get it. I'll prepare dinner for us right away then. I'll have a brisk shower then. I have a brisk shower myself. Take all the time you need. You had finished taking your brisk shower, as well as dressed for the night. Lars was preparing the food, and Coach Gill wasn't anywhere in the kitchen. Huh, where's Coach Gill? He left. Oh. Told me that he needs to go home. Oh, okay. So any reason why? Not that I'm aware of. Sorry. Don't apologize. I'll text him later. Alright. So, do you need help with anything, Lars? Not really. Actually, if you could put the plates on the table, that'd be great. I can do that. Thank you, Henry. No worries. He did as he said and placed, the, and placed these plates on the table. One small victory for Henry. Any more? No, that should be it. Thank you. One second, y'all. Water time. Mm. Alright. Mm-hmm. Dinner was ready. Lars put the food onto the plates that he placed onto the table. It seemed like he made food exactly for two people. The food looked great. The presentation was was on point. This almost felt like a romantic dinner somehow. You had to remind yourself that this was just normal dinner. All right, it's ready. Wow, it looks mouth-watering. Don't forget to wash your hands before eating. I did. Sit down and dig in, Henry. Don't mind if I do. He started eating the food Lars cooked for tonight, and boy was it great. Lars said that he would stay here for a few days, but if he decided to stay here forever and that the landlord allowed it, you wouldn't even mind. As long as you got him to cook for you every day. I saw it to use the intercom today. Oh, I don't think you've used it before until now, actually. Ha, <laughs> you're right. Uh, someone just told me about it today. I did notice its presence, I just didn't know what I could do with it. That's fair. You just moved here not too long ago, anyway. Yeah, so did Logan. Logan? Ah, the one that told me about the intercom. Oh, all right. He ate dinner with Lars. It was so good that you'd watched it that you wished you made more. Thanks for dinner, Lars. It was good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> you can rest up. I'll go up and clean the kitchen. What? No, if we're going to be housemates, we do chores together. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. And thank you to our silver tier patron, Cage Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you to our gold tier patron, Amur. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to our ultimate tier anyway. If y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to our not safe for work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.